the solution to this example. So we could use a VLOOKUP here, but we're going to rather use a SUM IFS. So what we want to do is to tell Excel to, in the cell, look at that description, find it over here, and then SUM any item that repeats itself. And in this case, we probably won't have any repeats, but it's just to show you that this can work similar to a VLOOKUP. So we're going to go and do SUM IFS. So what's the sum range? So I'm going to highlight this whole area. And because I plan to use it each month, I'm actually going to highlight enough that can handle any amount. So you'll see I go up to this border. I'm going to put the dollar signs on. Criteria range one. First I do the criteria. The criteria on this one is what is that description? And because I know we always want to look at column C, I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the C. In the criteria range, I know that it must always look at this column C. I'm going to put dollar signs everywhere. If I leave it like this, when I copy across, even though I'm in column I, it'll keep adding up column D because we put dollar signs everywhere here. So I'm just going to remove the dollar signs from the letters, from the D. And when I say OK, I get 458190. That looks like it's right. Let's just copy it down. It's always useful to check. So journal entries processed, 65261. You can see that's working out. And I should now be able to copy it across. It looks good. And just doing a couple of checks, you can see the numbers seem to make sense. So that's working out well. The benefit of this, though, is I can now take these calculations, copy them. And if I go to 5B, which is set up exactly the same way, I should be able to just go here, click here, and paste it. And let's just do some checks. You can see that number is the same. Opening bank balance, that number is the same, etc. So what it means is that each month, instead of you spending half your day matching individually, let the sum ifs do it for you, find the number, bring it through.